Hi guys, Alex Drivey here. I'm the Director of Youth Ministry at First Presbyterian Church, and I am very excited to talk to you about one of my favorite parts of youth ministry at this church, and that is Surf City! I'm a Now, I've got to tell you, I used to work full-time for a Bible camp, and so my very uh, biased opinion is that every church should have a camp that they're connected to, especially for their youth. And I can proudly say that First Presbyterian Church has Surf City, and Surf City is a week-long camp for middle school students. It is really an amazing week for kids, uh, and I'm very, very excited to tell you more about it. Now, Surf City is a week-long camp that takes place at Grace Adventures Camp in Mears, Michigan. And Mears is on the uh, western side, right on Lake Michigan. It's got these beautiful sand dunes around there. If you've never seen it, it's one of the most beautiful parts of the Midwest, in my opinion. And uh, we go out there, and what's really great is we travel there together. We uh, load up two big vans, put our stuff in a trailer, and we drive out to Manitowoc and then take the SS Badger Ferry across Lake Michigan, uh, and then we spend the week there, and then we come back together. So that's a uh, very, very fun aspect of it is we get to do it all together. Surf City usually runs from a Sunday morning to a Saturday evening. So we'll meet at 7 a.m. on Sunday here in the church parking lot, and then we will return sometime in the evening on the following Saturday, so like 5 or 6 p.m. But we'll let you know exactly when we will be arriving back at church because we'll have your numbers and we'll text or call you to let you know when we're like 30 or 40 minutes away. Like I said, Surf City is for middle school students, so that's any student currently in grades 5 through 8. And that could be any middle school student in grades 5 through 8. They don't need to be a member of our church or even affiliated with our church or participate in our programs. They could be from way far away. And in fact, we've had friends and nieces and cousins and all sorts of people join us for Surf City because it is a great program. And after our students go, they love to invite their family or their friends to come with them. So we are totally open to that and we will continue to be. And if you are somebody that lives in the state of Wisconsin or Illinois or Michigan, we will totally coordinate a rendezvous point with you so that you don't have to come all the way to La Crosse, Wisconsin for us to pick you up uh, on the way to and from Surf City. Surf City has lots of things to do. I mean, they just pack an entire week full of activities and games and competitions and uh, lots and lots of time spent learning about the Word of God and the Gospel message uh, because it is a Christian camp. It's uh, designed um, so that students have a really great time packed full of all sorts of activities and games, but that they also can learn, learn more about God in a setting that's very comfortable and inviting to them. It really meets them where they are. So that's important. But they also uh, make sure that they provide lots of fun free time activities like horseback riding and zip lining and rock climbing. And they have an open gym that kids can use and lots and lots of water things like tubing is popular, the blob, and especially the battle barge for our group. They have lots of, um, lots of great things and you really can't run out of things to do at Surf City. Now, there's only so many weeks in the summer, right? There's only so much money you can spend on summer trips, right? Well, why do we offer this extra opportunity uh, for a summer camp? Just another one. Well, we don't see it as that. We think it's a very important investment for us and we've been going to Surf City for over 10 years now and we will continue to do so because we believe 
it is a very important and powerful investment. And we have lots of reasons why we do that, but I've boiled them down to four to kind of make it helpful for you in a clever acronym, SURF, which stands for Student Bonding, Unique Games and Activities, Role Models, and Faith. And there's only so much time I can spend on this, so I'm going to go through it kind of quickly here, but you can look in your info guide for you know, a nicer description of each. But student bonding is a very important part of youth ministry, but also Surf City. And let me tell you, students really don't can't bond anywhere else like they can at Surf City. To spend a week together, to share the experiences together, it's just there's nothing like it. And it's really cool to see kids become such good friends when they were just, you know, acquaintances before, or strangers before even, and they developed this deep bond, and it's great. I, we love to see it. And like I said, shared experiences is a big part of that bond, and that comes with some of the very memorable and unique games and activities that they will do at Surf City, because they are pretty wild and crazy, and there's lots of examples, and you'll catch some in the videos if you watch them of like costumes. You'll be like, what's that? But uh, that's just part of camp culture, and that's part of uh, Surf City, is just making it fun for kids that they can remember and, you know, have a good time. And and also part of the bonding is uh, not just with students and themselves, but with the adult leaders who are really awesome. We take time to make sure that our adult leaders are going for the right reasons, and they always are. And they go not for themselves to have this free vacation, but to invest in the students and to get to know them and um, to make sure that they can be a good role model for them and show them uh, what a young man and woman that's a Christian should look like. Um, And also faith is, like I said, a very important part of Surf City. That's why they do uh, Surf City and that's why it's a Christian organization that puts it on because Amidst all the fun and excitement and goofiness is the reality that Christ is everything, and he should be everything. And the they do such a good job at getting the right people and the right environment to share the news to kids where they don't just ignore it like they might in church or fall asleep, but they really take it in they really learn a lot. And I've been very uh, floored by it the things that students have said while at Surf City um, after like a discussion or a lesson or a sermon or whatever it is. It's very encouraging and um, I can't tell you how how perfect the environment is at Surf City for bonding and for faith. It's incredible and if that's what you're looking for for your student alone to meet positive friends and for faith, I mean that's this is it right here. Surf City <clears throat> does have a cost. It's $525 per student, and that includes everything. That includes transportation, the program fees, the lodging, everything. And uh, we understand that $525 could be quite a bit of, a, of an expense in a family's budget. And so we do provide fundraising opportunities. First Presbyterian Church a while back put together this really awesome event uh, for to, for students to fundraise for their summer trips. And it's the spaghetti dinner and silent auction that is still going strong, and it continues to grow every year. And uh, we very we encourage our students to really get involved in that and utilize it because it it is a really awesome event and it's very highly attended by our congregation members. They love to do it and they love to support it. And so we encourage you to learn more about it. And there's gonna be an info meeting about it on January 17th in the Fellowship Hall from 12 to 1 p.m. Uh, so if you're watching this before then, go ahead to and go to that and you'll learn more about it. If you haven't, I encourage you to contact me uh, with the contact info on the website or on your info guide so that I can tell you more about it. Because there's a lot to tell you, and what I'll tell you right now is that uh, students make money in two ways from that, 
and they, and the first way is from their work hours that they do preparing for the event, helping serve at the event. We make sure they're a part of it and people see that. And uh, the second way that students earn funds at that event is through providing their own silent auction items to be part of the silent auction. So maybe it's something that your family is deciding that is deciding that they want to get rid of, you know, not junk, but something nice. Or maybe it's something that you went out and you asked a local business, can you donate this? I'm going, I'm raising money for a summer trip for this experience. Uh, or it could also be something, a service that you will provide, like babysitting or lawn mowing or whatever it is. So it's a great event, and I encourage you to go to the info meeting. And if you can't, then talk to me about it, because I'd love to tell you about it. It is a great fundraiser. So there is a $50 deposit for Surf City uh, due on January 10th. And if you missed that, don't worry, uh, because you can still sign up. We can still add numbers. Uh, it just help if you would sign up by January 10th. But if you're watching this way after that, no worries. Uh, you can still go to Surf City. Just contact me as soon as you can and say that you're interested. And then as soon as we get your $50 deposit, we will sign you up and we'll um, let the staff know so that they can add your name to the list. But if you sign up before January 10th, you will for sure have a reserved spot, no problem. We don't have a limit. And so uh, up to that point. So just uh, let us know as soon as you can. And once you have turned in your deposit, you will get a list of important dates and uh, other deadlines that you should keep in mind for the rest of the spring so you can be ready for your student to go to Surf City in August. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. It was a pleasure to spend uh, quite a while talking about it. Uh, if you have any other questions about Surf City, feel free to contact me. I'm sure my contact information is on the info guide, um, so go ahead and uh, contact me, call me, text me, email me, and I will answer any questions because I love talking about Surf City and I would love your student to be able to go to Surf City with us this summer. Thank you so much and have a good one.